Using the Footprint Editor in Tina, Part 1, IC Wizard. If you want to create a footprint of an integrated circuit, the IC Wizard of Tina can assist you. Activate the IC Wizard from the Insert menu of the Footprint Editor of Tina PCB Designer. In the following example, we will demonstrate the use of the IC Wizard for creating the footprint of the MAX11166 converter. Start Tina PCB Designer by using the Start menu of Windows 10. Click the Tools menu. Select Footprint Editor. First, select View, Options, and change the unit into MM and the precision into 3. Then click OK. Create a new footprint library by using the file Save Library As command in the Private Catalog folder of Tina. Under the name My Package. Press the Save button, click the Insert menu, select IC Wizard. In the Technology group, you can set the mounting mode and the package type of the IC. The mounting mode can be through hole or surface mounted. Depending on the mounting mode, the following packages are available. DIP, Dual Inline Package, PGA, Pin Grid Array Package. SPGA, Staggered Pin Grid Array Package, SOP, Small Outline Package, LCC, Leaded Chip Carrier Package, QFP, Quad Flat Package, BGA, Ball Grid Array Package, SBGA, Staggered Ball Grid Array Package, SIP, Single Inline Package, and ZIP, Zigzag Inline Package, respectively. In the Package Dimension group, the dimensions, length, width, 3D height of the package can be set. Depending on the selected package, the fourth parameter is either notch, corner cutoff, or ignored. The pad dimensions defines the shape and dimensions, length, width, of the pad. If the mounting mode is through hole, the shape of the drilled pad can be round, square, or octagon. Moreover, the shape and dimensions of the drill diameter can be defined. However, if the mounting mode is surface mounted, the shape of the pad can be circular, rectangular, or a rounded corner, and the appropriate dimensions can also be set. In the pad position, the number of pins and the distances between them can be set according to the package type. Finally, in the pad numbering group, the type and direction for pad numbering can be entered depending on the package type. Set the data as shown in the IC Wizard window above. Click OK. In the pop-up window, the following message appears, Create IC. Click Yes. You can enlarge the image by using the Zoom option. Next, we will position the SMD pad. Click the SMD icon, then click on the Editor workspace to place it. Double-click the SMD pad, and in the SMD pad properties window, enter 13 in the name field, 0 in the center X and center Y fields. Double-click the size field, and enter 2.5 in the width and 1.7 in the height fields. Click OK. Click OK again. We will now position the labels, which belong to another layer. Click the little arrow next to the top layer icon and select the silkscreen top layer. Now you can easily move the name and the value labels by holding down the left mouse button while dragging them. Select again the top layer when you are done. Click the New Footprint Group icon. Click the New Group folder and rename it by entering the name Sun. Then press the Enter button on the keyboard. 
Note, sun is small outline, no leads type of circuit. Click the Footprint Properties icon, and in the Name field, enter the footprint name. Click OK. Click the Add Footprint to the Library icon. Save the footprint by clicking the Save button. Close the Footprint Editor. You can check the newly created footprint. Reopen the Footprint Editor. Click File, Open Library, open the MyPackage.fpl. Next, double-click the Sun Library, then the New Footprint. The mapping between TINA's schematic symbols and the footprints used in TINA's integrated PCB designer will be presented in another video. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash TINA slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of TINA Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of TINA. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to TINA Cloud, the cloud-based, multi-language, installation-free online version of TINA, running in your browser anywhere in the world.